Well, medical experts are helping to shed light on what triggered yesterday's event as more of Colton's friends come forward to speak. KXAN's Katini McHenry caught up with some of his friends today who have known him since middle school, along with a doctor who's shedding new light on cases like this. Katini? Robert, good evening. Just a day after, and already dozens of messages are being posted on a Facebook page by friends of Colton from middle school and also high school. The question still remains, though, as to why, a question we may never have the answer to, but at least one Austin psychiatrist says there are things that family and friends can pay attention to. John Waltz and Sherman Taylor have been friends with Colton since sixth grade. When asked to describe him, they use words like nice, quiet, polite, and respectful. A friend they say was always willing to help. I didn't say too much, but uh, the conversations I had with him back then were pretty cool. We'd laugh a lot, you know, just talk about funny stuff, and he's a really cool guy. They say Colton would talk about his favorite TV shows. He loved science, anatomy, anything academic. Colton was also an excellent musician. He was a really good drummer. Really good, really talented. Um, he, he liked, I know he liked science, like things like that, like anatomy. He was really good in that class. Which doesn't fit what many now know Colton for. On a stairwell he, where he could have very easily taken someone off, he just passed someone and said, excuse me. And we were like, that sounds more like the Colton we know, being a good guy. But psychiatrist Dr. Lowell McRoberts says just because someone may seem to have everything going for them doesn't mean that person has the same outlook on their life. People around may not recognize that or see that because they see all the things people have going for them, but to the person who's seeing the world through those kind of depression-tented viewpoints, that's all they can see is the horrible things around them, and, and that's what makes it so difficult sometimes to catch. Colton's friends, the class of 09 at Crockett High, are choosing to yeah. remember differently than many others. They created a Facebook page called RIP Colton Tooley. One incident doesn't make a person's legacy or anything, because we're going to remember him as the quiet, smart guy, always willing to help you. We contacted the UT math department today. That's where Colton was pursuing a degree. And because he only completed a year on campus, he hadn't taken any math courses yet. But at least one professor tells us he, he didn't know very many people in that department, but that professor tells us that Colton was a very bright and promising student. We're live at UT. Katina McHenry, KXAN, Austin News.